What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Tonight we have one of the most highly requested videos in quite some time. We're going to go ahead and showcase all of our rod and reel combos you see on a daily basis on the channel. That's right, a rod and reel arsenal video for you guys. Let's go ahead and get right into it. I don't want to drag this out over like 30 minutes. I'd rather you guys just get all the information you need in a tightly compact video. That way you know what we're using on a daily basis and we will go ahead and start with the fact that we didn't spend a whole lot of money when we got started, I think we should talk about that. Everyone just sees the Shimano's we throw these days and assumes we spent all this money and we have invested in ourselves in this channel in quality gear that will last, but we didn't start that way. We actually went through a lot of rod and reels that uh, did not live up to our expectations long term. And we'll start with these three reels right here. These are some of the first reels we bought and really spent money on. They were like, you know, 80 bucks a piece. I'm not gonna name the company, but I guess we got these because a lot of influencers were recommending them at the time. One of them was supposed to be like the fastest gear ratio in the business. The other one was like supposed to be one of the lightest reels in the business, carbon handle. And now they just pretty much don't work. Either like the spool release like doesn't work most of the time, it just like locked up. So when you go to cast, it just like and it doesn't work or maybe the handle, like the handle's fallen off on one of these. I will say they had good customer service. Anyways, we started off with some uh, cheaper bait caster reels to get things going. And all of them have their problems now and are no longer really in use, but we just haven't gotten rid of them. We also, when we couldn't imagine spending more than like 30 to $50 on a combo to go fishing, we had bought some uh, American speed spool combos from Luz on sale. I think we got them at like Dick's Sporting Goods or Walmart. And they're, I believe we paid like $40 for these combos right here. So they've been great. I, just, I think it's just got the typical magnetic braking system, you know, all the way from free to max braking. Uh, everything about these seemed pretty good. The drag seemed to kind of move and not stay locked in place, but these are entry level. This is entry level stuff right here. Uh, like, like the materials are not the finest, but these combos had lasted for us. And what this is here is a 6.6 six medium heavy. It doesn't talk about like the tip, but basically, after we outgrew these, we started getting some seven foot heavy or seven foot plus rods. And uh, I can't imagine throwing something like a 6.6 six anymore. It's just not our style. So we've got some older combos that we started with, spent some money on less than a hundred bucks for two combos right here, you guys. And we were rocking that stuff for a long time. Now we'll take you into what is possibly uh, my favorite reel that we own. Devin's favorite for sure. And we need to get serviced because it's been bashed up. I don't know if you guys can see this right here. The thing is trash. This is our Scorpion DC. The video we did on this reel right here actually has more views than any of my other fishing videos. Our first impressions video on the Scorpion DC. Don't mind the, don't mind the rod. This is a cheap $5 Walmart Zebco rod that we've just done some challenge videos uh, with. And uh, yeah, just pretty much for comedy. But anyways, the reel is fantastic. And so if you're looking for any one Shimano reel that you want to be like your go-to, I, I really highly recommend this. DC braking system, it has the auto feature of the $500 Metanium DC, but at an affordable like $280, I wanna say, you can pretty much only find them on eBay, maybe some Amazon, I'll link all our equipment down in the description so you can actually take a look for yourself. This thing is awesome, it just needs a service, that's why we have it on this rod, but probably one of my favorite reels, just a clean black finish, little red on there. And also when it comes to gear ratio, we've pretty much gone mid range on almost everything. Some of them are the higher or XG uh, Shimano rating. So the higher gear, but uh, we don't have any lower gear rated, lower gear ratio reels. Guys, as I edit this, I didn't talk a whole lot about what that gear ratio represents. And so for a lot of these reels, they're seven two to ones. All my HGs, what that means is that for every full turn of the handle, those reels are bringing in 31 inches of line. Now also we've got a couple XGs in the lineup. Uh, take for instance, the SLX DC, that is the XG. That one brings in 35 inches per full crank and it is an eight two to one. Now the Metanium DC, XG is an 8.5 to 1 and brings in 36 inches of line per full rotation of the handle. So that is what you guys need to know about the gear ratios. So basically for the same speed of winding, 
you'll either be bringing the lure in faster or slower, and that can be beneficial when fishing certain baits. A lot of times I hear people talk about high gear ratios when frogging. That way you can really just rip those fish out of the thick stuff whenever you get something on the hook. Uh, you talk about lower gear ratios, usually when you're using certain moving baits or bigger baits and you wanna just creep those baits nice and slow, you can be working it at a steady pace, and yet it's gonna be bringing in less line, and that bait's gonna be working a little bit slower, getting the action recommended for those at a more comfortable moving pace. So anyways, guys, that's the gear ratio. Next up, guys, Shimano Corrado DC. Excellent reel. We've got it spooled up with braid on a seven foot six heavy Powell Endurance. This one specifically uh, is rated for us. So this is the mag medium heavy fast action. It is rated at three eighths to three ounce lures. I tied a spinner bait onto it today because uh, it was one of the combos we had with us at the pond. And so disregard that. Usually I'm throwing either like a swim bait on this thing or maybe some uh, heavy Texas rigs jigs. I just like seven foot heavy rods for that type of stuff. So seven foot six, kind of like my go-to length for a lot of rods. Um, boom, got that combo right there. Next up is one of the newest additions to the fleet, and at the moment, probably one of my favorites just because I always enjoy the newest stuff we get. This is the Shimano Tranks. This is the 400 HG, so 400, very large spool size. We got this to also tackle some saltwater use whenever we visit places like San Diego, go on vacation, and so we definitely wanted a bait caster that is uh, all weather sealed and can handle big fish. So. That is why we got this guy right here with the power handle. That HG comes with that power handle. You can also get it just with the standard Shimano handle. I believe it's all a little bit larger with the Tranks right off the bat, just because it is geared towards bigger baits, bigger fish type of applications. We have it spooled up with 25 pound fluorocarbon. And we have a uh, 13 fishing Defy Black swim bait rod. Uh, we definitely want to expand our swim bait setups, but for now, this is what we're dealing with. We got this baby for 40 bucks on Facebook Marketplace, the rod. The reel was about 300, and uh, this is one of our newest to the lineup. Very excited to throw some big baits on this very soon. We're also gonna do a swim bait collection video pretty quickly. Oh, also, we've, also, we've, we've had some other rods by 13 fishing. They're all broke. Next up, mock speed stick with a Corrado K. This is also one of our oldest rods. This is uh, said to be a spinner bait rod, so I should have that bait tied onto this thing. But uh, Corrado K, the 200 HG. So again, high gear ratio. It is the 200 spool size, so a little bit larger than some of our other Shimano's. And the mock speed stick is a, this one is a 610 moderate fast taper. So with this, I just tie on a lot of our moving baits and that is what we've got, 17 pound fluorocarbon. That is probably the most common line I've got on all these rods and reels. The Corrado, by the way, has 30 pound braid on it. We used to have a lot of 30 pound braid and it was just sitting, so I spooled on a little extra for that reel right there. Next up, guys, we've got a seven foot medium heavy Hank Parker Signature Series. We purchased this from Walmart a long time ago and it has lasted, man. Seven foot, seven foot two, medium heavy. That's what you should get if you want just an all purpose rod. So we'll use this for anything and everything. Right now we have the Scorpion MGL paired up on this bad boy. It doesn't have anything attached to it, but it has 15 pound fluoro. And I'll, I'll throw some moving baits on here. If you guys are using a lot of like cranks and moving baits like that, 12 pound is recommended to get them to their diving depth and also just lighter line, able to cast a little bit further, get more distance out of your lighter line. So again, this has 15 pound on the Scorpion MGL and that uh, lose. 40, 40 or 50 dollars I think is what we paid for this one as well. Great rod for the price. Just got a few more guys, just got a few more. We're gonna end with a pretty expensive combo. So here we go. This is uh, next up on the list though, the SLX DC. We've got it spooled up with some 30 pound braid. 30 pound just good all around. If you're going for frogging specifically and some heavy top water use, then just go 50 pounds, 65. Do whatever you want. Heavy braid, that's what people say. 30 gets great casting distance. It also gets you through most of the thick and thin. If you want heavier, be my guest. This is a seven foot two. Again, disregard the fact that I have a frog tied on. You'll find I'm not the most educated fisherman. I just have whatever rods on me and I wanna throw a bait. This reel happened to have the braid on it, so I tossed a frog on there and I caught a, a decent fish today on this actually. It was pretty slick. <laughs> so you don't always need a seven six heavy just to use a frog or get stuff out of the thick. Today, we're working that seven two. And so that is exactly what I recommend as like something like a starting rod. 
7.2 medium heavy man. This is a 151 XG. So the odd number uh, when you're talking about Shimano is left-handed. The even numbers are right-handed. I, I like using a mixture of both. Devon prefers right-handed. For certain lures, I definitely prefer left-handed. You can kind of cast out and have that left hand ready to go as soon as your bait hits the water. Some baits I like working with my right hand, some baits working with the left. Sometimes I like setting the hook with my right arm. There's just little things. Uh, I'm starting to like left hand as more and more, so you'll probably see more left handers in the lineup, but uh, that is a lose mock speed stick with the SLX DC. Uh, I can't recommend this reel enough if you're looking to get your first DC reel. I mean, there's really no beating it. It's uh, under 200 bucks, you'll find it. Get this thing on sale, you can find it for even cheaper, and it's got that DC wine we all know and love. You gotta get you something like this. Second to last, you guys, we have got the SLX XT. I just kind of wanted to get another reel in the left-handed option, and so I went with something a little bit more affordable by Shimano, that way I could use and talk about something that more people can acquire. This thing has been a beast so far. It is the 151HG, and so again, that high gear, but really it's kind of like their mid-range. That is a 7.2 to 1. So uh, when you're talking about Shimano and they say HG, it's kind of that mid-range for most folks. Uh, they have an XG, which is the extra high gear ratio, and so that's that. Now, I'm loving this reel. It is paired up with the Powell Endurance 7.3 Medium Heavy. The 7.3 Medium Heavy, also perfect for stuff like T-Rigs. Just, you know, you'll see me use this thing day in and day out with a mixed variety of baits just because it is more of an all-purpose setup right here. Really like the 7.3 Medium Heavy by Powell. Another thing on these Powell rods is I like the placement of the hook holder being right on top. I didn't talk about that with a lot of these rods, but the Powells have extreme sensitivity. You don't hear me talk a lot about rods just because I'm not really like a rod junkie. I really like the reels. I'll spend money on the reels. I'm getting to a point where I'll spend money on rods, but I haven't got any like dedicated crankbait rods, uh, which I need to. I want to focus on that more this year in 2020. Most definitely do not get me wrong. Buying some great rods, technique specific, just haven't got there yet. I focused more on buying quality reels that are gonna last, and uh, that's that. Now, I haven't talked about the hook holders on some of these other rods, though. Those Powell Endurances are great. On the swim bait rod, for instance, the hook holder is just kind of on top for your bait. You got that one right there, boom. Now, when you're talking about these mock speed sticks, I really don't like the placement. Um, there's not really one of those hook holders, but what there is, is there's a little hole in the bottom of the handle there. So you just latch your bait onto the bottom. It kind of, it's kind of dangerous. I don't really like the placement, but uh, it's there. And they are definitely those more budget rods. So now guys, finishing the last combo in the lineup. This one is uh, at the moment, the most expensive one we've got paired up just cause the reel's freaking expensive. This Metanium DC. This one is the XG, the extra high gear ratio. And I think it's only a 100 spool size. It might be a 150. We've had this one for a little while now. I got it on sale and even after tax, I still paid like 450 for this thing. I probably wouldn't do it again. I'm glad I have it, but uh, I would definitely recommend you get just like two SLX DCs for this price or grab you a Scorpion DC and get you a couple SLXs, basic ones, and just have more reels. There's not really a reason to spend so much money when you're getting into fishing, but if you've been fishing for a while, you want to step up to the top tier, go ahead and grab a Metanium DC. Why not? We've got 17 pound floral carbon on this bad boy. 7.6 mag medium fast action rod. This is rated to 20 pound line and 3 16th to one ounce lures. You can see we've got a Texas rig on here. Again, I just love fishing bottom baits with uh, 7.6 heavies and so that is what we're rocking. These rods were about 150 bucks a piece. I was just recommended them by a friend and I don't have a rod partnership right now, but you'll probably see us using a lot of a uh, singular rod company's rods in the future whenever we line something up. But for now, we've just got a mixture. And so that's what we throw on a day-to-day -day basis, guys. If you wanna pick up any of this gear, I'm gonna do my best to link every single component down in the description. Thanks so much for watching, guys. The last thing I wanna mention is if you guys purchase any of the reels through the Amazon links in the description, it actually helps support this channel. I earn a small percentage off the sale and it helps us create more videos like this for you guys in the future. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's get back to the video. And you can pick up any of these at your leisure. But for me, if you wanna get into fishing, I recommend 7.2 medium heavy, 15 pound fluorocarbon for general all around use. And I would say get you a uh, medium gear range reel like a 7.2 to one, Grab you a Shimano for that reliability. If you're looking for something budget friendly, go ahead and just grab like that SLX, the entry level, or you can even skip out on Shimano, grab whichever manufacturer you like. I'm a big believer in the fact that almost everybody makes a quality product out there these days. You can get some stuff for great prices too. So go ahead and just pick up a rod and reel combo from your favorite brand. Get out there, do some fishing, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.